Hi there, hope you're having a great day. Now I've got a question for you. Have you ever heard the saying, if you find what you love, you never work a day in your life? Well, it's true and I'm a personal testament to that. I have another question for you. You know, if you had no restrictions or obstacles, how would you spend your time? You know, what would you be doing for work? And really, what is your dream job? You know, how far is your skills gap between where you are to what qualifications you would need to be living um, and, and working in your dream job? And even if you are in your, your dream job, you know, um, when was the last time that you indulgently invested in yourself and expanded your knowledge and your skills? You know, during this time of self-isolation, um, I see an incredible opportunity for everyone. This is not once in a lifetime opportunity. This is once in a generation opportunity. You know, when else in history have we ever been given the luxury of time, home isolation and the internet? Oh my God, people, listen, this is incredible. <laughs> really, what, what do we what we have here? So for any budding mumpreneur or self-motivated indivi individual, you have the Alexa of life and that is time at the moment. So self uh, isolation or social isolation for all it's worth does provide us with time. And um, this is something that is maybe quite foreign to a lot of us who live busy, hectic lifestyles. Um, and time to do the things that we've always wanted to do but never had the chance. So this begs the question, what passions and interests do you have that are just waiting to be awakened? So lucky for us, we're joined today by our very special guest and a partner here at Kiddypedia, Yvette Salvaris, who will be chatting to us about this and also going to, to discuss the benefits of online learning. Now, Yvette is one of the directors and owners of Ethical Training Solutions an education training company. And uh, she has over 20 years experience in the education industry as a teacher, a mentor, a manager, and a trainer. And Yvette is a firm believer that education can change your life no matter how old you are. Now we are so grateful for your time today. How are you doing? Yeah, really well. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for your time and, and excited to be talking with you. This is the first time that we've actually had a chat with you yeah. here. Hopefully <laughs> yeah. um, many more to come. Now, it's been said that you feel students of all ages have the right to high quality ethical education programs, be it from people from two years of age to, to 75 years of age. Tell us a little bit about this view viewpoint. Yeah, I believe that education should be accessible to everyone. And um, in my line of work, um, you know, at Ethical Training Solutions, we see so many different people of so many age groups. And in my career, I've taught everyone from two to 75. And, you know, I firmly believe anyone can do anything as long as you put your mind to it. And, um, you know, it's really important that people know this, that you don't think, oh, just because I'm, you know, in my mid 60s or 70s, I can't do anything. No, of course you can do something. Everybody can do something. It's just a matter of finding what you're good at. <laughs> yes. And I guess with this extra time that everyone's got on their hands, it really is the perfect opportunity for people to listen to their heart, to find really what, what excites you. You may be you're in a job that doesn't necessarily spark your interest and makes you want to jump out of bed and run to work every day. Um, and this is an opportunity, no matter what your age is, to find what, you know, uh, to ask yourself, what, what is that one thing? And um, to maybe just start looking and in, 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 in doing some online search to be able to say, well, what can I do to bring myself closer to it? Now, we've published your article and the title is uh, Keep Calm and Carry On, But in a Different Way. So for someone who hasn't read the article, can you give us a little bit of an overview of what it's about and just what inspired you to write it? Yeah, well, my article is about, you know, learning while we're in isolation, I guess is the best way of putting it. And people are probably thinking, how can you learn? There's, you know, no face-to-face -face classes. Well, you can learn online. And I think that's a benefit of being in today's day and age. I mean, we've got the internet, as you said. We have so much technology at our disposal that it's, you know, why should you waste this time? You should be using it to do something, to learn something. And I mean, I'm not necessarily saying like a new career. I mean, good. I mean, you might have lost your job. You might want to do like an accredited course that leads to something. But I mean, you could learn hula hooping. <laughs> I mean, that's just something random. But um, use this time. I mean, 
you know, you're sitting there in front of a TV probably watching Netflix. Why not watch a how to do something video or like learn a new skill? So that's what my whole article is about, is about using your time effectively to learn something and broaden your education. And um, during your career, do you have any examples that you can or would like to share with us about this, um, about, I guess, people sort of taking that plunge and changing the tra trajectory of some point of their life, if it's just learning new information and skills, if it's as big as maybe changing their career, um, but starting with an online course, do you have any, any examples that you could or would like to share with us at all? Yeah, I do actually. I have an example of one of our very first students to come through one of our training partners and do her, I think it was diploma in early childhood back in 2015 and she graduated in 2016. She was in her mid 60s. She had left her job. So she was in a job in customer service and she wanted to kind of take a different angle on things. So she decided to do a diploma in early childhood and believe it or not, now she's working in a childcare centre as a team leader and absolutely loves it. And um, when she came to us, she was like, oh, you bet I'm too old to learn. I'm like, yeah, no, you're not. Um, anything is possible. And um, she attended face-to-face -face classes because we're only doing face-to-face -face at that time. So, you know, it was class-based. And obviously she hadn't been in a school for years, you know, <laughs> like never done anything really. And um, yeah, she qualified, graduated, and is now living her life and living her best life, as we say, because she absolutely loves what she does. So that's probably my best example. So, and as you said earlier on, there really is no no age gap as to what what people can do and, and to be able to follow their, their, their passions and learn that information if it turns into a career or what have you. But perfect opportunity to use this time. Um, thank you for sharing it. That's awesome. We've got yeah. lots of questions we need to get through. So let's get stuck yeah. with question number one. Alrighty. Now, what is Udemy? Or how do you pronounce it? Udemy. It's like Udemy. a really strange word, isn't it? Udemy. It's like an online university. I guess it, that's what they're trying to do, I guess, when they named it. But um, Udemy is like an online course marketplace. So when I say marketplace, it's like this amazing site full of every possible online course you could think of in so many categories that you could sit there for the next 10 years and learn a new skill every day sort of thing. It's actually amazing. It's mainly non-accredited from what I, my understanding of it. So it's not your diplomas or your certificates or anything like that. It's mainly your short professional development type courses or personal development type courses. And um, they're really fun. I'm actually doing two at the moment, believe it or not. See, teacher never stops learning. So, um, yeah, so I've taken, what course am I doing? I'm doing neuro-linguistic programming, which is just a new skill I want to learn. Yeah. And another really bizarre one, hypnotherapy, because I thought it would be fun to do. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. So, 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 yeah. And for someone, I haven't seen the platform before, but yeah. for someone that's now going to jump online and have a look at it, um, how would you maybe suggest like where do they start and where do they start navigating and sort of connecting the dots between their passions their interests and really what's out there yeah so i would suggest you to me because everything is there presented to you so it's not like you have to do a google search i want to do a course on hula hooping just for example um at least why not i'm just you know who knows someone might want to good luck but um with you to me everything's like in categories so you can just do everything from a business course to a cooking course to whatever course you really want to do i mean there's that many categories it's just absurd really what some people do yes. which is great i mean you know if it's something you really want to do why not you should do it um yeah and the good thing about these courses they're usually quite cheap as well so we're talking i think i've got my two courses for like 12 dollars. i think they um have specials every now and then um it's kind of really fun and the good thing about the way udemy is set up is they have very very strict criteria how their courses are set up so it has to be a mix of video and text-based learning and it actually has to have an outcome so it's not like a youtube type thing where anything's on there it actually has to be a structured course with an educational content and an outcome no matter what the subject matter is cool at this stage we don't know how long we're going to be in isolation for but are these courses fairly short they're, they're, they they can sort of crash course get get through them in in, in i don't know a short yeah. amount of time yeah yeah like there's so many different 
like lengths, I guess, and types of courses. There's, you know, they usually have the time allocation, you know, for them. So the one that I'm doing now, I think it's like a 14 hour course, but um, I'm nowhere near through it all because I'm too busy doing other things, which is a bit of a pity because I really want to get through it. But there are really, really short courses. There are really, really long courses. There's um, all different lengths, I guess, if you want to get a skill in a day, yeah, you could just sit there and knock it out in a day. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's really cool. And what about if people, for example, want to sort of take it or and or looking for more of a higher education, um, maybe getting a diploma or a certificate in something at the moment, is there any other um, websites that you could suggest they maybe they look at um, to do a bit of a search at the moment? That's a really hard one because mainly that's to individual training organisations and registered training organisations and TAFEs. Mm -hmm. I know the one that my company partners with, which is Melbourne College of Further Education, um, we work very closely with them just to help people get into the right courses. And I know they're looking at moving their certificate level qualification and diploma in childcare online to get us through all this. So I've been told our students will be dialing into Zoom, doing a Zoom sort of conference, similar to what we're doing now, yep. but it will be at their class time, which is amazing. So just like they're sitting in class, they could be sitting at home in their PJs. Um, doing their course and the really good thing about it learning doesn't stop and learning continues and if there's a placement component with your course which is usually the case with childcare courses that can be done once all this isolation is over so you can use this time now to do the face-to-face -face learning to do your assessments to do all the theory and then practice your theory in placement once isolation is over perfect um, so even if Udemy isn't the course and you're looking for something in like a higher education, at least use this time um, to do all your the theoretical um, yeah. stuff, which is... Yeah, all your learning. Yeah, yeah. that's the important thing. Because you can get qualified, you know, some of these courses, are, you know, a certificate would go for, say, maybe six months. Imagine you're in isolation for three months. Well, you've only got another three months, haven't you? And then you're qualified. So it's, it's perfect. You can finish isolation with a qualification or working towards a qualification. Love it. Love it. Let's get stuck into question number two. What are the benefits of online training? Well, the benefits of online training, apart from just sitting at home in your PJs, is the fact, which is great, right? But why not? That's, yeah, well, it, can, it can pretty much be done anywhere at any time and um, at your own pace. I think that's really the important thing is sometimes people feel really overwhelmed, especially if they haven't done any training or any education for a while. Um, if you're doing it online, you can stop and start when it kind of suits you so work at your own pace have time to digest the information that you're learning and also which i really like doing too is going back so if you're learning something and you're watching a video reading whatever the, the content is at the time if you don't quite get it you can go back and watch it again and let it sink in and i think that's a really great thing about online learning is it's self-paced um, you can do it in your PJs, but apart from that, it's just really good because you can do it at your own pace and take your time, which I think is really important when you're learning something. Yeah, and the whole thing is, like you said, with, with, with everything online, the world's your oysters, pretty much anything and everything you pretty much could learn and or you know, <laughs> <laughs> this skill you really can acquire, uh, which is awesome. Um, now, question number three, how hard is it to create your own online course? This is an interesting question. So what sort of people would be looking to start an online course, do you think? Well, first of all, it's so easy to do an online course. If I can set one up, then anyone can set one up. That's my theory because I'm the most non-tech savvy person probably on earth, just ask my husband. But I have managed to set a whole online school up for ethical training solutions. But anyone can do it if you've got a really good skill. And I'm going to use my husband as this example because I've been on his back for like the last 12 months saying, He's really passionate in gardening. He's a really great gardener. He should set up his own course on gardening because he is great at it. So that's like a great example. Anyone can set up an online course, you know, with any skill. It doesn't have to be like, you know, childcare, like I said. It could be gardening. It could be cooking. You could be, you could be like a, a guitar teacher and do a you know class on that there's um there's so many things you can do and it's so easy if you find the right platform that's the main thing um 
and you can experiment with different media too. You can do videos, you can do text space. There is so much you can do. And now you're in isolation, best time to do it. So what sort of platforms would you say for, the, for someone to be able to then on sell um, an online course? What are your recommendations yep. for that? My recommendation is Thinkific. Now, I'll be honest with you, I am a Thinkific ambassador here in Melbourne. So I do a lot of meetups. Thinkific. Thinkific. It's a weird name, I know. But it's amazing. Um, the reason we use it and the reason I stand behind it is because it's so easy to use. And I've helped so many people set up their online course from an artist to a life coach. And just recently, I helped a nurse in Brisbane set up an online course on health and wellness for nurses. So um, that was like a, a most magnificent course and probably the most beautiful thing I've ever done to help that community along with her. And especially now is, you know, her course is going to be very relevant in today's society, especially to the nursing community with everything that's going on. So um, anybody can do it. And I, I do say use Thinkific because it really is, you know, drag and drop and just upload things. It's pretty easy. Um, yeah, probably the easiest platform that I've used and I've used quite a few of them to tell you the honest truth. And um, that was the one that we chose here at Ethical Training Solutions to use. Yes. And it's the one that I find ease of use and yeah, all my clients have no problems using it. We've given us some really inspirational, insightful information today. If you were to paraphrase everything that we've just spoken about, how would you like, summarise it for someone watching? I would say, Use your time effectively. Don't sit on the couch in your PJs watching Netflix. Learn something. You've got this opportunity now. You may be looking for work because of what's happening. You may have lost your job. Use your time to learn a new skill. Don't just sit there and let your brain go to mush, as I say. Just learn something. You know, use your time to learn a new skill. Yes, and I really believe like what we do and how well we spend our time during this self-isolation period really is going to determine how strong and well we come out at the end of it. If it is going to be two or three months, might be longer, we don't know. But, you know, use the time wisely. And I honestly believe that great companies and great people evolve and grow in times of hardship. So the question really is to everyone watching at at home, are you going to be one of those people? Are you going to be one of those people that are using this Alexa of time that we have uh, and this, this once in a generation opportunity of being home in self isolation with just time and the internet? I tell you what, leading up to where um, I, I am now with Kittypedia, I've worked full time and working 60 hours a week plus building my, my side hustle, which was is Kittypedia and it just sort of now got to the point where I can actually work in the business full time. If I had I had this op had had this opportunity at any other time in the last sort of three and a bit years um, since the business has been launched, I would have just lapped it up. So it's a wonderful opportunity for everyone out there to be able to to take stock of who you are, what your interests are, what what your passion, what legacy can you be building uh, in your life to be able to um, set this up and um, and it's, it's a bit of a paradigm shift I think we're having at the moment. Everyone is really taking stock of what their personal values are. We're slowing down, we're thinking more. Use this time, everyone. And Yvette, I'm so grateful for your time today uh, to be able to at least, you know, spread this, this thought of online course and online learning to everyone watching. Now, if anyone's got any other questions, um, how can they find you and, um, and where are your links, I guess? Yeah, okay, so you can go to our website, which is www.ethicaltrainingsolutions.com. And we have a Facebook page as well. So if you just type in Ethical Training Solutions, that will come up. Um, that's probably the best way to find us. And all our emails and our Facebook groups, all that sort of stuff is there. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. And I can't wait to chat with you again soon. Take care, stay safe, stay well. Thanks, Thanks Rach. See ya. Bye.